Hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about Ethereum mining. Now, uh, Ethereum mining about a year ago, when I started doing it about then, uh, was really popular and it was fairly profitable. You could make back your initial investment in only a few months. Uh, as time has gone on, that has increased. So if you have bought a mining rig recently, you'll know that it's going to take a long time to make back that initial investment and that Ethereum mining is not as profitable anymore. So I'm going to be talking about in this video, is it still profitable and should you still be mining? Now this obviously this answer varies depending on your situation. Uh, for example, for me, I already have a mining rig. I already have the graphics cards, so I might as well just mine uh, to make that profit. Whereas someone who's just coming in, maybe they only have one graphics card, they're thinking about making an Ethereum mining rig. Uh, it's probably not going to be very profitable to do that. I'm going to talk about why in this video. So there's a bunch of factors we need to consider when we're talking about the profitability of Ethereum mining. Now you can just go ahead, uh, and this is a simple way to do it, and go to CryptoCompare.com. You can go to this uh, Ethereum mining profitability calculator. And you can punch in your hash power, your cost per... Uh, I always just put zero as my power consumption because I don't pay power because I still live uh, with my parents. And then you can do like your pool fee, all this stuff, and figure out how much money you're approximately going to make in US dollars per month, per week, uh, per year, etc. Now, looking at this, obviously this is very low. For 20 uh, mega hash per second, if I punched this in a few months ago, this number would have been about three or four times higher. And that's because of the price of Ethereum. So if you're just going off this, then obviously these numbers don't look very promising. $200, that's not even going to cover the cost of... Um, what do you call it? I don't know, my power supply and my RAM for uh, a mining rig. So what's the point of mining with that? If I go to 100 mega hash per second, you can see we're making about $1,000. But still, if you have 100 mega hash per second, that means you have four or five pretty powerful graphics cards. That's definitely not even covering the price of maybe two or three of them. So right now, if you're looking to buy a rig, it's definitely not a time that you'd be uh, that you should be going into Ethereum mining. Now, the reason why if you already have hardware it's somewhat worth still mining is because if we're looking at the price here we're comparing we're assuming that ethereum is going to stay at a price of 375 dollars now if i go to the ethereum charts here uh you can see that the price obviously has been plummeting recently but if we expect or if you think that ethereum is going to pull back up to maybe even just like the 700 dollars range the 900 dollars range then mining now and holding on to your Ethereum may not be a bad idea. It's also worth it because you can get your Ethereum and then you're able to buy other cryptocurrency with that uh, while you're mining it. So that's personally why I'm still mining. Um, I just leave my computer running for, I think, like when I go to bed, so like 12 hours a day just to pick up a bit of Ethereum so I can be buying uh, other cryptocurrency. Now, don't get me wrong, it's not extremely uh, profitable right now, but if and if I hold on to my Ethereum for long enough and we see it go back up, uh, higher than it will be worth it for right now. Now the reason why uh, the profitability has been going down is because of this chart here that I'm showing you. Now this is the block difficulty growth chart. And you can see that back in even just January of last year, um, we were having an average difficulty of about 90. Okay, so you don't really have to know what this number means, but just you can look at the magnitude of it. So at 90, this is when not very many people were mining. The Ethereum network was just kind of starting out, uh, getting a bit more popular as we moved again into April. We're moving up, we're moving up. And when I started mining was about the 650 range, 600 range. And I was making a good amount of money. I made back uh, the money on my mining rig in, I don't know, like five or six months. So it was definitely worth mining at the time. But then you can see that we're just climbing, 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 climbing. And from that 60 at the beginning of the year, we're now at 3000. So you can see it's becoming much more difficult to mine Ethereum. And what that means is that it takes longer uh, to mine one full block, which means you're making less money. You're getting less rewards uh, for the work that you're doing. And pretty much you can see now we're at 3200 about, I mean, right now we're at 3176. It's fluctuating just a bit. Um, but that's not very uh, profitable at all, especially at the price of Ethereum um, to try to be mining at this difficulty with just basic graphics cards and not ASIC hardware. Um, you're not going to be making too much money. So that's what kind of why um, the uh, you're not going to be making as much money. It's not going to be as profitable because as a network continues and grows, uh, the difficulty gets well more difficult. We can look again at the Bitcoin charts here. So I'll try to try to find a chart. Bitcoin difficulty mining see if something comes up for this 
difficulty and hash rate trigger. And yeah, again, you can see here it's just climbing and climbing and climbing. Uh, and a similar thing happens uh, is happening to Ethereum now because if you were to try to mine Bitcoin from well your uh, PC, then uh, that's not going to be making you very much money. And that's what's happening with Ethereum now. I'm trying to find a better chart here to show you guys. Uh, this is a better looking one. Okay, so I don't know. Okay, this ranges from let's start at about 2015 and you can see the exponential growth of the network and a similar thing is happening again with Ethereum and the difficulty here. You can see that if we're looking from January 17th, this definitely is an exponential curve um, and it's just going to continue to get more difficult from here on. So overall, um, kind of the consensus here or the uh, final statement is if you're looking to get into mining now and you don't already have the hardware, it's definitely not a time to be buying any of that hardware. Uh, if you really want to think about Ethereum mining or mining, I'd think about a different currency, maybe mining something like Litecoin or uh, Zcash. I'm not sure how profitable those are, but they can't be much worse than Ethereum. Um, right now at this current price, it's worth just holding on to your Ethereum if you are mining um, and waiting for it to hopefully go back up or maybe buying other cryptocurrency with it. Uh, but it's definitely not a time to be getting heavily invested in any mining whatsoever or to be uh, looking to buying buy any mining hardware. If anything, cloud mining uh, may be a better option for, for yourself. But yeah, really mining Ethereum right now, it's not very profitable and I wouldn't recommend it unless you already have the hardware and it's just sitting around there. Uh, especially if you're not paying electricity. So that's been it for this video. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, any questions, you disagree with me, leave a comment down below. I'll be sure to respond to you or at least read the comment and have a nice day.